So this is a, a lamp they used in Lochmadi from, it's dated actually in the early uh, 1920s, looking at it, but they used it up until the early 60s to guide ferries into Rochmadi. Um, the one boat that was mentioned in discussion with me was the Lochmoor, which I'm sure most people will have heard of anyway uh, and be well used to. They used to have a number of these lamps uh, at, the p at the end of the pier, uh, the front of the pier and the back of the pier, and that's what guided the boat into the pier up until the 60s until electricity came in and we had floodlights and everything else that they use nowadays. And you wonder at the skill of the skippers in those days who used to come into Loch Maddy in, in the dark with this kind of arrangement to guide them into the pier. Nowadays they've got every technological advice, <laughs> advance that you can think of to get into the pier. Uh, uh, I just would like to see one of our new skippers being put in charge of one of these, uh, the Loch Moor, for example, and see how they get on. But and uh, as was mentioned to me, you know, everything's about risk and health and safety nowadays, and and uh, yet with this kind of arrangement, there was never any accidents, which is uh, well, it's good to know. But it just shows you again the skill of the skippers in those days with the limited technology they had and having to operate in this kind of, well this kind of arrangement, you know, where you had a kind of a paraffin lamp inside, this opened up obviously and you had the paraffin lamp inside it and that's, that's the kind of light you had and it's just, uh, I've never seen it actually in action but it'd be nice to see how obvious the light was from a distance if you're on a ferry that's rolling up and down coming into a muddy pier but uh, uh, and I thought this is quite interesting, bearing in mind that we're spending in the order of 20 odd million at the moment on on improving the infrastructure in Loch Maddy to take to take uh, the new ferry in. So it's kind of an interesting artifact that harks back to the early 20s up until the 60s.